Hello and welcome to another episode of Control Alt Dammit. I'm Dammit to Hell, and today is Monday, May the 20th. There wasn't a lot going on over the weekend in the world of gaming news, but in June we've got a lot to look forward to in the terms of gaming shows, trailers, reveals, news, etc. So let's take a look at what we've got to look forward to. June is going to be ripe with gaming news and reveals as we have several gaming related events happening. Summer Games Fest is June 7th, Future Game Show June 8th, the Xbox Game Showcase and the PC Gaming Show is scheduled for June 9th. Ubisoft Forward is June 10th and Nintendo Direct is confirmed in June but a date hasn't been given yet. It really looks like as gamers we're going to be eating real good for news and reveals in June. I do plan to co-stream each of these events so be sure to stop by, hang out for the news and share your thoughts. Summer Games Fest at 5 p.m. Eastern on Friday, June the 7th will play host to more than 55 partners from the gaming space with many more possible. On May 16th, event creator Jeff Keighley tweeted an image that said, 2024 Partners Round 1. Shown on the image are 55 logos of companies that will have some sort of presence at the show. The Round 1 caption on the image makes me wonder how many more will be shared in Round 2. Notable mentions are 2K, which is expected to reveal their next installment in one of their biggest and most beloved franchises, which could be Borderlands 4, Bioshock 4, or Mafia 4. Capcom, which is rumored to show off something related to Resident Evil 9 and a possible Resident Evil 1 remake, and Sega, which is rumored to be showing off a new Sonic game. Also in attendance will be Xbox, which will have their own show, but could also give us more info about games they've already shown off, like Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. Presented by Games Radar, Future Game Show Summer Showcase will be shown at 3 p.m. Eastern on Saturday, June the 8th, and it will feature more than 40 upcoming games for PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, and PC. Hosted by Arthur Morgan voice actor Roger Clark and Tifa voice actor Britt Barron, the show will focus on new trailers, world premieres, developer deep dives, and highlighting upcoming games from every platform. Expect to see news from developers and publishers such as Supermassive, who could be talking about the Until Dawn remake or a new Dark Pictures entry, Dredge developers Black Salt, NetEase, which will likely be talking more about Once Human, Secret Mode, and more. The Spring Showcase was watched by over 8.5 million people and they have stated that the Summer Showcase will be the most ambitious show yet. The Xbox Game Showcase will be at 1 p.m. Eastern on Sunday, June the 9th. And while they've yet to reveal which games will be shown at the event, it's expected that we'll see more information about some of the games that are launching this year, like Indiana Jones and the Great Circle, Avowed, and Flight Simulator 2024. This will be the first showcase from Xbox featuring titles from Activision, Blizzard, Bethesda, and Xbox Game Studios, as well as titles from their third-party vendors. Much like last year with the Starfield Direct Showcase, after the show there will be a deep dive that they're calling Redacted Direct. This is expected to focus on the next Call of Duty, rumored to be an entry in the Black Ops series set during the Gulf War. There's also a possibility that we'll get some info about a new Gears of War game. Microsoft is supposed to show off more games this year than they did in the 2023 showcase, which only makes sense considering their portfolio of developers continues to grow. The PC Gaming Show will also be June the 9th, but it will be at 4 p.m. Eastern. Hosted by PC Gamer, this year will celebrate the show's 10-year anniversary. Their website states that we can expect over 50 games to be shown off at this year's show. There will be world premieres, exclusive announcements, and developer interviews. This event differs from the others since, as the title suggests, it's a show primarily about PC games, so those of you that don't play any type of console game will definitely want to check this one out. Currently outside of the hosts, which include Frankie Ward, Mika Burton, and Sean Plott, not much else is known about this year's show, including its participants or the games that will be shown off. Considering that this is the 10 year anniversary of the show, I would imagine it should be a pretty big one. Currently, the official website only shows the logo with links to their Twitch and YouTube channels. Ubisoft Forward will be on Monday, June the 10th. While there is no official time as of yet, it is expected to be around 1 p.m. Eastern based on their previous shows. Ubisoft has been fairly tight-lipped with what will be shown off at Forward, but it can only be expected that we'll get some more information about Assassin's Creed Shadows as well as Star Wars Outlaws. 
I personally hope to see some gameplay from Shadows, though I imagine it's just going to look like a combination of the early Assassin's Creed games and the newer titles. However, if we're just throwing out ideas, we could see a Division 3 trailer, info about the Avatar DLC, info about the Black Flag remake, possible trailer, a new Beyond Good and Evil 3 trailer, and maybe even something about Far Cry 7. Of course, none of this is guaranteed, but wouldn't it be nice for Ubisoft to fill our gaming plates with some nice, perfectly prepared, juicy gaming news? Why do I suddenly want a steak? And finally, in a packed month of gaming shows, we have Nintendo Direct. Simply scheduled for sometime in June, we're just gonna have to wait for a day in time. Nintendo does always play the quiet game when it comes to announcements, and all we really know for sure so far is that there will not be a Switch successor announcement. Now, if you think about some past Nintendo events, they have clearly said things like, no, we will not be showing or talking about this, only to turn around and show and talk about it. The DS Lite and 3DS XL come to mind. Some unannounced games that have been rumored and could be shown off, but probably won't, include a Fire Emblem 4 remake. Metroid Prime 4, HD versions of Legend of Zelda Wind Waker and Twilight Princess. Now keep in mind that those are purely speculation and just the hopes of players, but you know, it's nothing wrong with hoping. Regardless of what day and time it happens, the Nintendo Direct is usually a fun event that shows off a lot of exciting things. So here's to hoping that this year is the same as the previous ones. And that's gonna do it for this episode of Control Wall, damn it. As always, thank you to everyone who's still here watching this. I hope that you enjoyed the video and you're excited about the upcoming shows as I am. I will be streaming most all of these shows on my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash damn it to hell. So be sure to stop by, hang out with us, watch and enjoy and add your commentary to the situation. But I hope you have a great rest of your day, a fantastic tomorrow, and I will see you on Wednesday in the next episode. Till we meet again, be safe, be sexy. Touch your butt. Goodbye.